hey all welcome back to my channel this is a message for aries sun moon rising and venus okay so it feels like you guys could be dealing with something challenging currently it kind of feels like being like in the midst of some sort of battle and you feel like things are kind of like falling apart in some sense it's almost like you were being guided to like move out of the way before somebody else's karma almost beca became your own you had no business kind of like being involved with something and it's like you may try to like be there because like you care whichever and it kind of feels like putting like how you feel to the side in order to kind of be around like this person or like this situation but you would have ended up just burning yourself as well because it feels like you guys are meant to come into like a lot of growth or you guys have a lot of fulfillment that's on its way it just kind of feels like you continue to look back at a past situation that you are really being guided to let go of or move away from because somebody is going to be dealing with something that is a bit harsh this could also be like in terms of like um whoa excuse me i brain farted um yeah somebody's going to be dealing with something that that's a bit harsh and i feel like this could be like in with in regards to like their lifestyle as well somebody could also have like an std if that resonates for you but it kind of feels like you guys are continuing there's a health issue that's there but it kind of feels like you guys are continuing to be around this person or follow this person around and it's like you don't even know what it is that they're carrying so it's like you guys are being guided to like it's a fair warning you guys are being guided to kind of like pay attention because the signs are also there but it's kind of like you choose to also like ignore it in some sense um as well yeah but i'm also hearing like we told you so so it's like you guys could have been warned about like whatever it was some of you guys could have already gotten caught up in the situation if that resonates but i feel like you are going to be dragged away from it so something just doesn't end up kind of coming your way because it feels like it's going to be like some sort of harsh reality or consequence when it comes to something so it does feel like for you guys something is like falling apart or you're leaving something behind but i feel like it is for like your best interest it kind of feels like you guys are coming through as being like a bit stubborn because you guys continue to pull and pull on something and it's like it's really not getting you anywhere and i feel like you guys are trying to figure out like okay like why isn't this working and it's because it's not meant to work you were meant to leave it alone and stay wherever it is that you guys are but it feels like you guys may have trouble being by yourselves or listening to the guidance that is kind of like being given to you and it's like you're being protected so you don't end up getting hurt it's kind of like you are blindfolded and you're like having like your hand out to this flame that's obviously going to burn you and spirit moves your hand away but it's like you're not listening you're you're like you're, you're just doing it still and it's like you end up getting hurt and it's like well we tried to stop you like more than once and then like it's, it's something that you guys ended up pretty much having to deal with as well so however that resonates for you guys okay um i do feel like something is ending for you but it kind of feels like you're going to end up having the rug pulled from under you in some sense and it comes through like something that you're now going to have to like live with somebody could also be like pregnant or experiencing some sort of pregnancy somebody could end up getting pregnant however that may resonate for you guys but it's like i don't know like you guys are coming through as pretending not to pay attention to something or it's like if i ignore it maybe like it'll go away some of you guys could already be like crying there could be something about like the doctors if that resonates somebody could have actually gotten like some sort of std is that was, was coming through like herpes are, are what's coming through for somebody um and there yeah there could be something about like an outbreak or um or a uti sti however that may resonate for you guys but like it is giving like you guys getting caught up with something and it's like well like i hope that you learned your lesson now however that may resonate for you guys it won't be for anybody but like um it will not be for everybody but it, it kind of feels like you guys got wrapped up in something that is a bit hard to come out of and it's like well you feel like you may it's like a trauma bond in some sense so you feel like you have to kind of like stay by this person but you don't have to i feel like you're being guided to uh, like don't let this kind of like change like your outlook in a sense like because it's like i see you guys like wiping a foggy mirror to look at yourself but you're looking at yourself like as a whole mess as well i feel like it is meant to kind of like teach you something i do feel like there is a sense of strength that is also coming from it um as well but i feel like this is guiding you guys to also like leave something alone for good um someone may try to shame you if they find out or like i'm seeing like people kind of point a finger and laugh and it's like somebody is shaking their head and it's like you know like i told you like not to go over there i told you not to deal with the situation because it feels like this person just like gets around and it's like oh like what am i supposed to do and it's like i don't know like it, it kind of feels like alarm bells are coming through as like ringing off for you guys as well like i don't know like it's something that you guys if you guys already got caught up in a situation it just feels like something that you guys are having to kind of like deal with to be honest because i'm seeing like a tree that is bare but i feel like that's also like an illusion like you still have a lot of growth and a lot of fulfillment that's there it just kind of feels like now i feel like i have to live with something 
now I feel like I have to kind of like maneuver through something. And I feel like that's what it took for you guys to pretty much slam the door and to leave this person alone or to leave a situation alone because they did not care about like you personally at all. Like they did not care is what I'm picking up. Um, yeah, it, it feels like just like something that is kind of like going around in a sense as well. But it, and it's like, it's coming to us like, oh, like being too embarrassed to say it um, or whichever um, as well. Right. Um, I'm not really sure like what to say about the situation. Like what else is coming through? You guys are going to end up leaving behind like some sort of conflict, but it's coming through like, oh, well, maybe it's coming through like it's a little bit too late in a sense. Um, it, it feels like having to deal with something. I don't know. Like you guys could have gotten caught up in something and you ended up getting like the short end of the stick. Because it's like you could have also confronted this person. It's like they're lying. Um, in some sense, somebody's coming through as a very dirty individual, and it's like somebody could have. I heard like getting your lick back as well. So it's like I don't know. Like somebody could have done something in order to spite another person or to target another person, and it ended up backfiring completely. And now it's like, well, I have this, or like I'm stuck with a child, or like however that may resonate for you guys. And it's like somebody is dealing with like a messed up foundation now. So it's like somebody's foundation is coming through as crumbling, or it's, it's like um. There's a scarcity mindset that is also coming through, but I also feel like there's like a lack of, of funds that are also like available. Somebody is coming through as like dealing with their karma. This is not going to be for anyone, but someone here is, is coming through like dealing with their karma in some sense because it's giving like you thought that you were going to get away with something and you did not get away with it. You just ended up that you just ended up hurting yourself pretty much. So however that may resonate for you guys, um, a Taurus could be significant to you guys, like an earth sign. Or like a water sign could also like be significant, however that may resonate for you guys. But it kind of feels like having to make peace for something. And it's like, don't let it change like who you are, like your outlook. Like you're going to be fine. It just kind of feels like something is going to have to like get some getting used to. Like you're going to have, get to have to get used to the fact like something is not available anymore. Because it, it kind of feels like the environment that I'm seeing you guys in, it's like everything is on fire. Like everything is kind of like set ablaze in a sense. And it's like you're weeping in the middle of everything because it's like you don't know where everything could have like gone as well. And it just kind of feels like you're having to kind of like move away from it. It's like I really don't want to leave here. I don't want to leave like this situation. But I feel like I'm, I'm having to kind of like deal with it now or I'm having to kind of stay stuck with whatever this is now. So yeah, um... It kind of feels like you guys are going to be overthinking a lot. It feels like a deep purge. It does feel like a deep kind of like um, healing period for you guys um, as well. Like there's honestly like the energy here just feels very sad. And it feels like that's the only thing that's kind of going on in your mind. Like if I could take it back, I would. Or it's like may I, if, I if I hadn't had done this or that, then I wouldn't have been um, dealing with this right now. Or it's like I, I, they were right. I should have listened in some sense. Like however that may resonate for you guys. But I'm picking up on like a lot of like reoccurring like thoughts. It feels like a lot of like obsess obsessive thoughts. Um, This could be a trigger warning for someone. But somebody could also be dealing with like um thoughts of like unaliving as well like is there stuff like that that is coming through and you're almost kind of being told to like get a hold of yourself like i, I do feel like okay because uh, that's crazy a bit because it's like this is a, a pretty traumatic kind of like, experience that is coming through especially because like you feel like you have once had something but now it's kind of like disappearing in your hands like something is coming through is just like withering away and you guys are not really knowing like how to deal with the situation you're being guided to like not really make matters worse. It honestly just feels like a healing period. And it's like you guys are going to deal with people that like are looking at you differently or like they're starting to kind of like move away from you and you're not really like knowing what to do. But I feel like that's also going to show you like who's really there for you and who's not Um, pretty much. The name Aaron could also like be significant for someone. Sasha or Sarah, um, Jonathan, Miranda could be significant to someone. Usually, Leslie, Lauren... Antoinette, Anthony could be Abraham could be significant to someone. Alexandria, Al Alexis, Lexi could be significant to someone. New York, Connecticut, um, Kings County could be significant to somebody as well. Yeah, it feels like you guys are just going to have to be burying something. Is what it's coming through. Yeah, it's like I see you guys burying like a part of yourself. It's like I'm seeing like a flower. And like one of the petals kind of like leaves. So it's like I've lost one of my petals kind of. Um, so it feels like a, a really sad period. It does. There is a lot of deep healing that is coming through for you guys. And I feel like you guys are going to be guided to kind of like. It's kind of like I see you stepping into like a stool. Stepping onto a stool. And it kind of feels like 
still uplifting yourself still finding like some sort of strength to move forward it's kind of like you're being told like it's not the end of the world you're still living you're still breathing you still have things that you're going to like get together for yourself but it kind of feels like lesson learned at the same time because it feels like you guys kept on pushing into something and pushing into something but it's like you guys were not listening at the same time like you were already shown the signs that somebody wasn't good for you. It's kind of like the first thing that you guys could have experienced with this person or whatever situation that this was, but it's coming through is like, okay, like that was your warning. Cause it's like, you don't know what else is going on. You don't know what else like they may have. It feels like there's like a health concern that is here. I'm seeing somebody at the doctors. There could be something about like somebody having herpes is what I'm picking up. I'm picking up on like, um, herpes is what I'm picking up. Um, somebody is just going to have to kind of like get through it but it's kind of like you're being told like you're still a beautiful person if you're dealing with something like that because it's like oh how am i supposed to like live with this or like how am i supposed if this is what you guys are dealing with it's like how am i supposed to kind of like deal with it because it's like one minute i have um i didn't have it and the next minute i um i have it now um you guys are just going to have to move through something um I can provide like the guidance to you guys but I feel like some of you guys are not really going to like want to take it or it still feels like having to kind of come to terms with it for yourselves for with whatever situation that this is and it feels like you may kind of start still be like rejecting a part of yourself um for a while before you kind of not care anymore in a sense or like you kind of made some sort of peace with it as well so um, it feels like you guys are, honestly, it just feels like you guys are going to be healing through this. I see you guys opening a box full of things and it's all the pieces that were broken and it's like you're sobbing, trying to like put it together, trying to like make something make sense because it's like you ignored it all before, but now like, I don't want to say like it's too late now, but it's coming through like it's too late now because you're trying to make sense of something in a way, but it's like, it's, it's broken beyond repair is what's coming through. Like I'm hearing something being broken beyond repair. And it kind of feels like you're just trying to give yourself some sort of ease to move through the situation. Like I'm seeing like you guys in some sort of like darkness here. And it's like, you guys are just walking around um, with your head in your hands, kind of just like weeping and trying to like make sense of everything. But like nothing is really making sense right now. So how am I supposed to kind of like move through this or kind of like deal with this? Um, right. Um yeah somebody may end up kind of like being taken to court in some sense for whatever reason like there could be something about like a lawsuit because somebody could have known what they could have had or like what they were doing in some sense there could be like some sort of like settlement but it kind of feels like you guys would end up kind of like losing more and it feels like kind of prolonging some sort of healing because of the fact that you're still kind of having to see this person or engage in whatever situation so it almost feels like you guys are being guided to like lay this to rest. Some of you guys could actually be dealing with like a custody kind of battle. I feel like this will actually go in your favor um, as well. It just kind of feels like there's a lot of trauma that is also being built up for whatever reason as well. Um, so you guys are going to be guided to stay far away from someone. There could be something about like restrictions or like, what is it called? Um, what is it called again? Um that order whatever i don't know i forgot what it's called but it's like this person is having to stay far far away from you pretty much um yeah and there could be something about like paperwork documents and it's like you're going to have proof of everything in order to like go through with it but i feel like it may also give you more heartache um as well like there's something about like children that could also like be involved there could be just something about you guys having a hard time kind of like healing through something and it's like Somebody could be having like a lot of like hate in their heart or like holding a, like a lot of resentment when it comes to somebody as well. Um, you're going to be guided to like find some sort of peace or to release it. You're never going to speak with them again if you really don't have to is what I'm picking up. If you guys have children, it feels like this person is going to act like they do want to kind of like um, somebody's going to be rejecting. It's okay, so somebody could have gotten infected. And they're going to find out when they find out that they're pregnant. With this, this doesn't feel like it's herpes. In that case, 
it feels like this is HIV. Somebody is coming through as being long gone when this is revealed. Because somebody's pregnant, they caught, they ended up catching HIV or some sort of like disease. And then like the person that's coming through, like where they got it from, take it however it resonates. It could not be your energy if it's not you, all right? But there could be something about like a friend group that is significant. The person that they got it from, they come through as like disappearing. It's like, oh, I didn't know. Or like, I didn't, it, it, I probably got it from like somebody else. And it's like, you're lying. Like you're lying. And then it's like, they're also pregnant or like, they're also like having a child pretty much. There's a sense of rejection that's going to be there. Like somebody's life is coming through as basically like being over in some sense. And then it's like, there could be a sense of wanting to terminate the pregnancy, but also feeling like they're maybe too, too far along or like they may not have the funds in order to do so. So there is a sense of somebody having like a, being like a single parent. This could not be you guys. It could also be like someone you may know if that resonates. But this also feels like somebody's karma. Somebody could have Taurus in their chart. Or they could also be like a water sign, like a Pisces, if that resonates as well. Like, yeah, like I hear like play stupid games and win stupid prizes. So I don't like somebody. I feel like there could have been someone that you may have known that thought they were either like better than you in some sense or whichever and they tried to maybe like prove a point by going to mess with someone and they ended up getting burned for it i feel like that is done there could be something about like a church like somebody is like going to church and it's like they're praying and stuff and it feels like fi trying to find like some sort of redemption because they could have gotten like <sighs> this is very specific Somebody could have gotten a reading and they could have saw like where their life was kind of like headed and it scared them because everything fit very perfectly with everything that they were um, experiencing in that moment. So it's like somebody is trying to find redemption or to like be redeemed in some sense, but the scales are so, so heavy. You guys could have actually told this to this person, however it may resonate, but it's like somebody is very anxious and somebody is very afraid they're not even sleep they're like they're having nightmares somebody is having nightmares okay and it just feels like yeah there's something about like the magician karma is being handed out there could be something about like lord shiva that is also coming through for someone who may resonate with that um there, or there's some sort of deity that is there like i'm hearing something about like weathering storms like oya could be significant to someone oya could be significant to someone I don't know because somebody is coming through as trying to mess up another person's life path by getting them sick yeah yeah this is a very messed up situation um the energy here is feeling like a bit different so switch it around this could be someone something that somebody tried to do with you to you or or you guys could have gotten involved or whatever but i'm hearing something about like let's say like um if this is like another person for instance like if you guys have went out with this person like you allow this person to kind of come back in they would have done something so they were able to either sleep with you to lay with you or something like that so they can kind of like affect you infect you yeah and then they will be gone but it's kind of like they wanted to keep you tethered to them because they saw your light they saw like how strong your light was and they wanted to kind of like, yeah, they wanted to control that. They wanted to keep that. Because it's like, I'm seeing your light and then I'm seeing like the cage that is their hand. They wanted you to really, like really be like, because it's like, now I know that you're not going anywhere. Because where are you going to go? Where are you going to go knowing that you have like what I have now? And this isn't like, it isn't, this is not like herpes or nothing. Like, this feels like this is like OD. Like, this is this is like HIV kind of or whatever it is but somebody wanted to keep another person locked in some sort of cage is what's coming through for some of you guys you guys actually ended up escaping the situation on time but somebody is getting like burned very badly um it does feel like this person really wanted to trap you I do feel like there is 
there's something about like a friend group i'm seeing like the participation um a group of three but you got separated and then like there was just two and they could have been like going behind your back in some sense as well and it ended up catching up to the both of them but it's like the person or like the masculine doesn't want anything to do with this feminine that's coming through because it's like okay so like what are you gonna do about it because like i yeah like there's like a sense of like I don't want nothing to do with this. Like, I don't even know how to explain, like, the emotion that I'm feeling that's coming through with it. But it's kind of like somebody just got bit very badly. Like, somebody just got bit very badly. And it's like, yeah. I know, like, somebody's trying to, like, get redeemed. Or, like, they're going back to church now. And it's like, there's nothing that you're going to be able to do to reshape the direction of your future. Because, like, it's coming through as, like, it's a little bit too late for that now. You've already done so much. You've already been plagued by something. There's no reshaping your future. Like, there is no reshaping whatever it was that was done now. And it's like they're trying their best, but it's not happening. This person may end up trying to come back around because they feel like you'll be able to save them. Because they're looking at you as an angel. They're going to feel like you're able to save them in some sense, but you're not going to be able to. In fact, you're being told like not to do that. Just don't do that. There's nothing that you can do for them. But it's like maybe if I can get their forgiveness, then like the load will be light on me because it's like ever since then, I felt like I've had like these weights around my ankles, like weighing me down. Like I feel like I'm like somebody feels like they're drowning and it's like it's only like... Ugh, like they're pushing themselves up to like get a little bit of air, but it's like they're only breathing air for a second and then they, they go back underwater because they're drowning. That's going to happen for a couple of lifetimes. Like it's the karmic debt that's coming through because they're not going to be able to relieve themselves from this in this lifetime. They're not. It's going to take at least maybe three to four lifetimes. But it's like each one is coming through as worse than the next in order for them to learn certain lessons as well because yeah it's like as as they continue walking in this lifetime they're still going to be raking up a lot of karma because they have a lot of anger and they have a lot of hatred whatever that was said to them came out to be true and it's like for those who may resonate this person could be into spirituality or like they know other people that do it and it's like they're going to like other people and it's like yeah like you know like there's nothing that can be done and it's like nothing is changing like somebody's going to like different practitioners trying to figure out like how to like heal or whatever nothing is changing it feels like they messed with the wrong person is what it feels like there's something about like somebody speaking over someone and it's not like putting it on them all of it is true but there's something about like this person or you guys speaking it and it's like the minute that it's spoken, everything happens. The ground starts to crumble underneath somebody's feet and they cannot be saved. And it feels like they are falling over and over and over again. This is a heavy, heavy... They are being judged very, very harshly. And another person is being judged very harshly due to even getting involved with the situation. Somebody is having their kids taken away from them. Somebody is coming through as like having their kids taken away from them because they are unfit, disrespectful, or like very naive. And they're just, they lack a lot of responsibility. It's coming through like they're not even home half the time. They're always like out partying or whichever. And it's like they do drugs. They're trying to stay clean, but they're going to fall right back into it once they get their results for something. There could be something about somebody wanting to also terminate a pregnancy, but they're like four to six weeks along or whichever. Like something is coming through like being a little bit too late, but it's like that's their karma. And it's like, okay, so like what could I do? And it's like they're going to try to get another thing confirmed by going to the doctors. This is a health issue that's coming through. And it's like, yeah, like this is we we have ways that we can try to help you like work through it like there's medication it's not like a death sentence it's like you know like you can be medicated on it you'll have to live with it but it's like you have to be like on medicated on medication for for life so 
it doesn't turn into AIDS. But it's like this person's world just crumbled. It's like I'm losing everything. Like I can feel this person's tears. They are very emotional because it's like it's sad. It is. But it's like I'm almost hearing like you know I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. But it's like no girl like you know because they know what they did. It's a very karmic energy that's coming through. Yeah. I feel like there's nothing that they can do about it. Or however this may resonate for you. It's like it's coming through like there's nothing that they can be done. It feels like there may be something about like CPS coming through as well. Like, I don't know. It's like a lot. So it's like it has to do with somebody's lifestyle. There can be something about like weapons, illegal like weapons in some sort. It's like some like somebody's household is just like very like unfit or like uncleaned or somebody's having to kind of like struggle when it comes to like their housing if that resonates as well. And I feel like that may have to do with again like all of the karmic debt that is old. Like somebody's very stressed out and it feels like really being left out in the dark. Like I can see somebody just like falling in some sort of like black hole. It just feels like there's karma that's like being handed out. Like I'm literally seeing like I'm seeing judgment that is there. And it's kind of like somebody is being placed in front of like the heavenly realms. And it's like, I can see somebody of a higher power going through like this book. And this could also like be like the Bible of some sort. But it kind of feels like a list of everything that this person has done. And then it's like, I'm seeing like the scales of justice. And it's some, and again, like somebody's heart is weighing very, very heavy. And it's like they're being placed back at to like the beginning. Or it's like they're going to have to go through like, this has to do with like their soul almost. Like they're having to go through like some sort of like purgatory, but it's very painful. The next couple of lifetimes are not going to be easy for this person because you're having to learn something over and over again. You won't even be at peace even in death. I, I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, I don't even know, like... This time, not even to apologize because no, they knew what was coming to them and they knew what was they were they were doing. It's not like this person was ignorant to their actions. They may try to come off as being like very nice and sweet, but they're not. They're gone. They're very far gone, which is why like they are unable to be saved. Which is why they're receiving a lot of harsh judgment currently. Yeah, somebody may also struggle with like drug. Oh, opioids is coming through. Somebody may also struggle with that as well whatever damn whatever it was that was spoken over them or whatever it was that was told to them in regards to, like their future it was already unfolding but something just hit like crazy something just hit like there's a high priestess that doesn't know how powerful they really are like it is not a game to be messed with this person is not to be messed with this could be you guys too but like you need to leave this person alone because their ancestor, their guys, they stand 10 toes behind this person. And it is justified. Something is coming through as being justified because it's like we already know your heart. We see your heart. Those individuals, they already had what was coming to them. And there was nothing that couldn't be done about it. They wanted to find like the easy way out of a situation, but they're learning the very, very hard way. Yeah, this, whoever this is, they have like a lot of power, they do. Cause I'm seeing like a lot, like you, this could be you guys again. Like there's a lot of light energy that's behind you. Like you have like angel deities, like spirit guides, ancestors. Like you have a lot of people in the spiritual realm that step forward to help you in defeating the evil. You are very capable of handing out karma. You are. It's almost like your higher self sits in the spiritual realm and like they're going through like the book. I don't know like what kind of book this is, but it's a very childlike energy too. Like you wouldn't think that this person is capable of it, but it's like, oh yeah, this is what you did. And it's like, you're just going to have to get whatever it is that's owed to you. Yeah, it's crazy. It's so crazy like what I'm seeing. Cause there's something about like an angelic being like i can see this being like and it feels like it's somebody higher self like in the physical realm this high priestess or like you guys that are coming through you wouldn't know like what's actually like going on but it's like there's your highest version of yourself is literally handing out karma 
and it's like i see somebody's feet just swinging like and it's like you're doing like la, la, la. like it's like like it's nothing it's nothing because you know like i don't know like it's so weird it's so weird but it's so strong it is so strong like there's something about like somebody's title their spiritual ranking in the spiritual realm that is also allowing this to happen like it's not something that happens for no good reason like this isn't like <laughs> like like it, it takes a lot for this high priestess to go and do what they're doing so you must have messed up very badly like this person must have messed up very badly for this to be handed out the way that it is I feel like this that's the end of it to be honest like I'm just hearing that case closed it's like somebody's being placed in front of a judge in the heavenly realms or in the spiritual realm and in person and it's like on both ends this person is losing it's so like it's so sad but it's like they were very again very conscious of the decisions that they were making Somebody's going to have a life that's just full of like lying, stealing, scheming, manipulation. Any comfort that they have is going to be built on somebody else's foundation and it won't last long because eventually people are going to see this person for who they really are and they are going to be casted out. They will not have anywhere to go. And it's like they're going to try to look to you and you guys are going to be got to close that door on them. Otherwise, yeah, I heard like reap what you sow. You guys are just going to have to like handle their karma too because they will find a way to trap you they will find a way to transfer their pain onto you so just like be very mindful about that but i see somebody's higher self just in the heavenly realm like this person is coming through as a they're, they're an earth angel but it's like it's almost like there is an angel that is within them that is also like handing this out archangel gabriel could be significant to someone or Raphael. i meant whoa michael whichever they could be significant to you guys in any way but there is there is that angelic presence that's there and it's it's like they deserved it they did so don't feel bad don't feel bad everything you said was the truth and it was nothing but the truth yeah okay so i am going to leave that reading there now i do hope this resonates for you guys as well thank you guys so much for watching all your support and i will see you guys next time bye